वेलकम बैक डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू कंप्यूटर स्टडी स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ चैप्टर टू हेड एंड बॉडी सेक्शन पार्ट टू इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हेड स्टडीड हाउ टू चेंज द बैकग्राउंड कलर हाउ टू डिफाइन द बैकग्राउंड कलर ऑफ एनी ऑफ द वेब पेज नाउ सेम वे इफ वी वांट टू डिफाइन the text color of any website then it could be defined in the same manner see for defining the background color we used to write in the body tag an attribute called bg color is equal to the value that is the name of any color or hexadecimal of any color same way to define the text color we have to write body text is equal to the name of the color which we want to use in double quotes now practically also i will show you now see in the web page named headers the color of the text is uh, this thing black now we will change the color of that text so i will open header using notepad program i will set the body i will write text is equal to we want to fill red color so ff0000 control s save and give a refresh so like this way you can change the text color now the next thing is link color or we can say the color of the hyperlink okay now whenever you have uh, designed a hyperlink okay the color of that hyperlink by default is blue now whenever you click on that hyperlink the color of that link uh, first of all what will happen when you click on that link the web page to which it is linked that web page will open and when you come back and you see then the color of that link will have been changed it will have been changed into pink or brownish type of color now since as you have visited that link it is been identified the web page as visited link such visited link is also known as v link while a link that is being uh, visited is called an active link active link is identified as a link to distinguish visited link and active link different colors are used by the web browser on its own only default by default we don't need to set any color but since it is this topic is given in the chapter Okay, suppose if you want to set some different colors, then you also can set it. So I am trying to explain you this thing. Otherwise, this thing works on its own in whatever browser you are using. So the tag used to set the color of active link is inside body. You have to write a link is equal to any color you like, and the, to set the color of visited link, you have to write inside body tag v link. is equal to any color of your own choice but i prefer never to touch this attribute and change the colors it should be as it is given by default the next tag which we can use inside the body is hr tag now hr tag is used to insert horizontal line wherever we want to give that type of formatting we want to separate this sections by inserting a horizontal line in between two paragraphs or something like that way then we can use hr tag now hr tag is a empty tag same way like br tag see in br tag we never used to type slash br am i right simple br tag so same way is the case with hr tag now uh, we will uh, do it with a practical example 
first thing we will open notepad program okay and in this notepad program we will create a file the name of the file we will uh, keep learning hr tag dot html okay. now the common things are html head title title also will keep the same as the name of the web page learning hr tag slash title slash head now we come to the body section okay in this body section we are going to make the usage of hr tag so first we want to insert a horizontal line so i type here hr now we type this line now again i want to insert hr tag that is horizontal line if i want to insert two horizontal lines i can insert two also then i will type here is broken in again i insert an hr here three parts slash body slash html again i save the file control s now i open it uh, where is it learning tag okay so it displays me uh first line second two lines and third line so like this way we can make the usage of this tag hr tag okay now there are some attributes also with hr tag that also we are going to learn the first attribute that is size it will define the thickness of the line you may use the pixel 3 5 or 10 to define the thickness of the line see now i will change the thickness of the first line for example this hr so i come here i type size is equal to i put 5 uh, here let's see what happens control s alt tab and refresh see the line is uh, i will zoom it little bit to show you see the line is become this much thick you can see there is white color field here so you cannot uh, uh, see it properly now another attribute i can use is color i can define a color so how to use it maybe color is equal to blue control s alt tab refresh now you can see the thickness of the line has changed and the color has turned into blue another thing is another attribute see we have learned two attributes with hr tag that is size and color A third attribute is width now width of the line by default is 100% 100% means it starts from this side to and it ends on the other side of the web page so that is 100% okay the thickness uh, of the width of the line is 100% now suppose uh, now i don't touch this blue line i come here and i change the thickness uh, the width of this line i type here width is equal to i have to denote by percentage 50% control s alt tab and refresh it doesn't made any change i will remove this uh, double quotes and check then also no change now i'll remove the percentage and see what happens it is not making any change because i have made a spelling mistake here w i d t h okay so you can see the size of the width of the line has decreased like this way hmm. now i try to add percentage and see what happens okay so percentage is compulsory to be maintained 
first it was 100 percent now it has changed into 50 percent now the third attribute is fourth attribute is align you can align the line to left right or center okay so i will do that thing by default it was aligned to center now i will align it to left Let's check. Yeah, see, it has gone towards left hand side. And uh, last attribute is no shade. Now, in the third line, I will do it no shade. Displays solid plane line instead of shaded line. See, I will zoom it. I am not able to zoom more than this. Here, this all were shaded line, while this line is no shade. The complete color of the line is same. To explain you this thing properly, I will change the thickness of the line. That is, size is equal to 10. Okay. Now, see, this is no shade. Complete color is gray. Now, another thing is, I remove the no shade and then check what is the uh, result just see like this way it was uh, showing white color inside the line so I hope you understood the concept of uh, this thing HR tag and you have learned all the attributes used along with HR Now we come to the next uh, tag and that is font tag. From the name itself you come to know what it is. Font tag is used to change the font type. First thing. That is uh, there are different types of fonts as we all know. Such as Arial, Times New Roman, Calibri, etc. Right? Okay. So if you want to display the content which you are you have typed in your web page coding you want to display the content in uh, your desired font then you can use this tag it has got three attributes first attribute is face through face you can select the font type that is times new roman or arial or whatever that you can select using face another attribute which could be used as uh, used along with the font tag is color that means you can change the color also of a specific part or of a paragraph or anything then third attribute which uh, could be used with the font is size you can change the font size these three things along with font attribute you can choose one more thing that suppose you want to keep the same font of the whole web page which you have prepared then instead of using font tag you can use base font tag and is base font tag you can specify the font type and font size and color and means any of the attribute you can use then we call font type right here in HTML coding the type is known as face face is equal to Arial face is equal to times new roman like that way so now we will do the same thing practically so first step what I do I will create a new web page named learning font tag so I go to notepad I save the file as learning notepad sorry learning font tag dot html ok same title we keep
okay now first i will give the heading font tag so to give the heading i take h1 okay then uh, i will type a paragraph or i will copy a paragraph so from here i copy one paragraph okay about notepad now first i will save the file again and see the output slash body slash html i save the file by pressing control s now i see the output learning font tag okay so this much is the output we can see here now suppose this word notepad we want to display it in blue color okay or in red color we display it in red color then before notepad i will use font tag font color it is not necessary that you have to use all three attributes together you can use whichever attribute you want to use font color is equal to red now where i want to complete the effect of red color after notepad so after notepad i type slash font now let's see the output control s alt tab refresh so the color has changed now if i want to change the font type also then i have to use face attribute face is equal to arial okay so you can see this notepad is looking different than other notepad okay here you can see the font which is used is times new roman while in notepad it is arial and same way you can also use the size so here we end up this video uh, please uh, practice all the things which are taught to you today so many things are new so please revise it okay so we meet in the next video thank you goodbye so here we complete chapter number 2 head and body sections so now we meet in the next video with the next chapter thank you goodbye